Nick, Nick two. Let's go. bit differently this is not like a full-on vlog nor like a full-on review uh, it's a bit of a mix as you've watched yesterday I watched three films and by the time I came home uh, I was like really tired so um, I decided to do this right now and give you like a better explanation of the movies that I've watched I'm not gonna get into details because yeah I just want to be quick with this uh, but I'm gonna give you like my overall thoughts on the movies that I've watched uh, I also want to make clear that I said in like the vlog part of the, the video that this is my day two uh, it's not the festivals day two the it's the festivals like day four but I couldn't go to two days so it's my day two just so you know uh and yeah let's talk about the movies that i've watched so the first film that i watched was jacob's ladder from 1990 uh, and believe it or not it was my first time watching it i did know like the twist so that kind of ruined my viewing experience like i still enjoyed it i gotta say that i think it's a pretty good movie but if I didn't know, I would be more surprised. So yeah, there's that. Still, it's a pretty good movie. And more than anything, I felt like emotional rather than uh, like uh, scared. It has creepy visuals, yes. But because this is about the Vietnam War and what it does to everyone that went, it ends up being like kind of sad um, but yeah still it has like pretty creepy visuals and I can see this being like a really uh, scary thing for the time it was made so yeah I did enjoy it and I gave it a three and a half out of five the second film that I watched was the amusement park this is like a film that was made in uh, 1975 but it's just being released now because it was just like rediscovered and the George Romero Foundation put it together and like release it and I gotta say I had high expectations for this one and because of that I was a little let down uh, it's not that it's a bad film I did like it but I was expecting more and from what everyone uh, has been saying uh, it was like kind of depressing and it sort of is it's like it's sad and it's even uh, worse when you think that all the things that happen in the film are still happening uh, so that is sad 
uh, but I can help but be a bit disappointed because I wanted more. I did like the visual, like the style and everything is like really interesting. Uh, and I do think it serves its purpose. It tells you what whole people go through and how you can like help them. Um, but again, I wanted a bit more. It's not really uh, horrifying. There's not a lot of horror elements besides reality. Um, so yeah, I still liked it. I give it a three out of five, but I wanted a bit more. And the last movie that I've watched, but certainly not least, was In the Earth. Uh, this came out this year and I was actually supposed to watch this when it came out, but then I just kept postponing it. And when I saw that it was in the festival, I knew I had to watch this on a big screen and the theater was packed, uh, obviously with the restrictions, but it was packed, so it was a sold out uh, movie, uh, show, whatever, and it was really interesting. This is one of those films that uh, is a lot, and I was really close to the screen, so it really was a lot. Um, I knew going into it that it had like a lot of lights. I did not know about the sounds, and the mix of the two is quite something. It's one of those films that it's sort of anxiety inducing. I think it is pretty similar to Climax and uh, Bliss from 2019. Yeah, it has the same vibes. The strobing lights, the strobing effects are like pretty intense. So warning for anyone that is sensitive to that. You can't watch this film like at all. It's pretty strong. Uh, but actually that to me that is what makes the film the story is quite interesting and it takes a few turns that i was not expecting but it's the visuals that make the film like all of those effects and the sounds yeah it's a lot to take in uh, but i really really enjoyed it this is actually an environmental movie, but I did like that there's more to it, like there's a story behind the point they want to tell, like the things that they want to tell. Uh, there's an actual story, so I like that. And yeah, it's, it's an intense film. Probably not for everyone, but if you liked Climax, if you liked... Bliss, I, I know not a lot of people watch that one, but yeah, and it kind of makes you feel the same as Mother as well, but it's pretty different film, uh, although they kind of tackle the same issue, sort of. I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5, I highly recommend it, and if you could watch it on the big screen, I I don't know if you still can, but if you can do it because it's pretty great and yeah these are my thoughts on the three films that i've watched yesterday uh i'm going today as well and the next day and the next day hopefully so yeah there will be more videos on the festival maybe not vlogs again you'll see and yeah i hope you like this festival uh, videos uh, and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video